Post, post, post up. JP Hussey here, owner of the Hussey Team Mortgage Advisors, with this week's Post, post, post up. All right. Today I want to talk about setting the right expectations, right? If you have the right expectations going into something, it usually works out. And some people say, don't have any expectations because then whatever happens is great, right? So you can't go so far, have this crazy pipe dream, right? Because you're almost setting yourself up for failure a bit because it's very tough to achieve big, grandiose pipe dreams, all right? So let's break down, break this down just a little bit more, okay? So, first-time home buyers, all right? Really, let's say the ones in those mid-20s, late-20s. I bought my first home at 24, all right? Now, listen, every generation's different. It's different times. I'm not going to be like, back in my day. I'm not going to do that to you, all right? But we like to talk about real-time situations, what has maybe worked to help you uh, set yourself up for my daughter's calling me. Call her back. Uh, you don't want to set yourself up for failure, right? And you want to just have the right things going in. All right. So you get all that. All right. So what we're seeing a lot of right now, those mid twenties, late twenties, you just don't know what you don't know, right? They're going in saying, we want to buy our forever home. And they're looking at homes in 400, 500,000, which is all well and good. And we're pretty good at getting loans done. We can maybe get that done. Maybe even higher they're going. They want that forever home. If you look at all the data over the years, people usually, unless you're older and you're, you know, getting that last last home, that's horrible to say, but getting that home, right? I get it. They're right off in the sunset. People usually only hold the home that they're in about five to seven years, sometimes even less. Okay. So have the right expectations. Maybe you want to buy a cheaper home, especially in today's world with higher inflation, affordability is hard, right? Take it back a bit, okay? You don't want to be house poor, they say, right? Get something that's comfortable, maybe in the lower spot, all right? A lot of people talk about house hacking, right? Get that maybe smaller home, that more more affordable home, all right? Start your portfolio, right? I bought mine at 24. I kept it for about 10, more than 10 years, right? 15 years, end up making some good money on it just a couple months ago because I held it, but I live there, all right? Then we moved about five, six years later, right in that five to seven window. I right, bought a new home, and then we're also on our third home, okay? So having the right expectations, looking at everything, thinking about affordability, maybe you don't need that forever home right now because you think that's what you need. It's not how most people started their, their journey in home ownership, all right? Don't shoot yourself in the foot, get your foot in the door a little bit, all right? And those lower price homes, they might be more available. You might be able to get better deals on them, seller's assist. You might be able to negotiate with the price. We're seeing things soften a bit. So have the right expectations, all right? Look at your budget, all right? Again, don't want to be house poor. Not saying this is for everyone. Get in that home, buy a new one, rent that one out, all right? Later on in life, Maybe you earn some money on it, all right? I just went through this, so I'm an example of how it can happen, all right? Now, I've had some luck, some hard work along the way, of course, but really have the right expectations going into it, all right? You need some bounce. Hope you have a great day. Post, post, post up.